Hey Libra, welcome to your general love read. This is going to be through the end of this month, through middle of February, because I'm pulling in the intention of going from the full moon to the new moon, okay, in that Mercury retrograde energy. So time is still fluid. You may come upon this three years from now and it resonates for you. Okay, take it as it resonates and release the rest. All right. I will tell you, I spilled water on some of my cards yesterday and they kept going into the water. And then I just spilled water again. And I was like, what is this about? Like, this does not happen. And I finally got it. Okay. It really is about, you know, you're going into the emotions. Okay. And um, you may have... All right, because it kept happening yesterday. It was in Leo and Virgo. So you may have Leo or Virgo in your chart or the person you're dealing with in their chart. But it's about going into those emotions. Spirit also brought to me during the pre-shuffle um, and setting up the decks that there's this leaving behind a piece of your heart. Okay. You can see it's a little darker in here than usual. Spirit is asking to tone it down. Okay. Spirit is saying that. So this morning's current energy reading, they wanted me to go into the shallows. Okay. They're like, go into the darkness. All right. Of the divine masculine and the divine feminine. And the understanding, the lessons happening between them. It was a pretty intense current energies. It will be on Vimeo later today, um, but it was pretty intense. I would recommend um, if you go over and get that, that you make sure <laughs> that you watch all of the parts of like cross watch, but also watch the parts of your sign that you feel connected and drawn to. Um, on Vimeo, it is not timestamp though. Okay. In Patreon it is, but if you join Patreon today, then on the first, you will renew the monthly membership. So the choice is yours. Um, but it was, you're giving a part, giving away a piece of your heart as you are moving forward. I, I got this feeling that it's not that you don't want this person, you don't love this person, that you won't have this person. It is this energy of you just aren't waiting anymore. You've moved yourself out of that energy of waiting for it to reclaim yourself, to reclaim your life and move forward, all right? So I did feel like that was important to put out there for whoever that resonates with before we start the reading. Now, for those of you that are new, I am intuitive. And so I'd like to pick for the collective for my personally channeled deck before we start off the reading. And that way I'll give that message first. And if that resonates with you, see, oh, that one is wet. Darns it. Let's see if I put it in the middle, if it will dry out. Um, if it resonates with you, um, just know that there may be something to really pay attention to in the reading. It doesn't mean that there, if it doesn't resonate with you, it doesn't mean that there's nothing in the reading for you. Okay. <laughs> and it keeps coming up to the top. Okay, I'm going to leave it out here and I'm going to grab, where is one of my heavy pieces? I don't really want to use that one. I'll use my, my rose quartz. I'll use this and we'll put it on there to flatten it. Well, it, well, it's teaching us. Okay. Because like I said, you know, it was giving your heart, your heart away. Moving forward, look at that. I mean, does that not say it all, right? But you're holding on to that wish. 
Okay, and I feel like that's very important to understand. All right, also the reading will be a little different today for those of you that are regulars because this week's spirit was like, I want like all the information. All right, and so I have got so many decks here. So two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 21 decks. Oh, isn't that interesting? And there's 21 major arcana. Oh, spirit, you're smart. <laughs> okay, so it's like, yes, I am. All right, so let's just get into it. If you like this, please like, share, comment, subscribe. It's how the channel gets seen by people. We are a baby channel. Not many people don't know that we're here. So any help you give really helps support the channel. All right, so summer in the universe. For some of you, it could be that you're seeing that it's time to get back into your happiness. Okay, it's time to link back up with the universe, with, you know, the vision of where you want to go and to bloom, to blossom, to, you know, rest and rejuvenate. It could be also that there is something coming in the summer. All right, so let's keep that in mind. Okay, besides the existence card, okay, that number one card, you do get, okay, here we've got the outsider with the creator. Your inner child, I feel like, is like I'm done being on the other side of this. Okay, I'm done this with the feeling bad. Like I understand why I feel bad. I feel bad because of all the times that people have locked me out of where I know the magic is. You know, it's kind of like they're showing me like a little kid, their parents are having like friends over for dinner and they get sent to bed. Okay, early, bed early, off to bed. And they know that there's all this fun going on on the downstairs or down the hall, but they're locked out of it because of the stupidity of being a tiny person. Okay, so the stupidity here, you know that you're like, there is this awareness that you have because they're really showcasing to me, okay, that it's the energy is kind of bleeding out into where this inner child is. So it's like the inner child can touch some of that energy, but not get there. And I feel like that's how this has been with this person. Okay, whether you're dealing with this person now, this is someone you're thinking of from the past. Um, it could be an energy because we've got the creator here for someone, of someone coming in in the future where you're gonna meet someone and you're gonna instantly connect with them and they are going to push you away out of their own inner fears. But you're tired of looking, okay? <laughs> They're like Alice through the looking glass. You are tired of looking, all right? So you're moving forward and just asking for guidance, okay? You're like spirits, angels, you know, universal energy, you're sending out that energy, okay? I'm moving forward, guidance, three of wands, okay? If my ship is meant to be mine, if it's meant to come in, it's like, bring it to me, okay? I'm ready for it. You just have to bring it to me, all right? I think I'm gonna actually put the, there we go. We'll try that. We'll put the buffalo on there. Okay, your lesson here is passion. You are overly experiencing passion or lust in a charged situation. And you may be. This person may have awoken a sleeping giant in you. And you may have had to hold it back because they're pushing you away. I have a hidden agenda in regards to the way I feel about you. Okay, for some of you, there could be this feeling of 
but I just want it. <laughs> okay, you're like, I just want it. But, you know, spirit is saying, not right now, not today. So let's bring in a little more energy. Okay, it's again, like I said, it's going to be a little different today because spirit brought out 21 decks. And so um, I've got this little tiny square. So the way the reading goes, spirit has guided me in the modifications that were required. All right, so overview. Thank you. Past. Thank you. Current energy. Thank you. Future. Thank you. All right. So here in the past, okay, I feel like, again, you went through a shit ton of growth. All right, lots and lots of growth. Like you realized what matters most to you. Like that pentacle, like you came out of the past and especially because only one of these stars they're showing me is lit up. And they're also showing me like almost like a, like a little, you know, the little things they stick on top of buildings to guide the airplanes. So everything that was sent to you was sent to you for guidance, okay? They're telling me, and I had this message this morning from Spirit as well about, you know, I've said it before, you may not have heard it, may not have been in your reading, but 2021 is the reset, and we're moving into Mercury retrograde, which is a reset, okay? In 2020, it was about growth, which is what this is showing. It was about our own internal growth, and digging up, okay, everything that we feared and everything that was holding us back. And now we're in 2021. And because we know that someone was a time traveler and went back in time because there'd been a saying forevermore that 2020 is, you know, hindsight is 2020. Um, you're having the reset. You're reliving this year of time, okay, which really coincides with the time travel, okay, but you're reliving this year of time with the hindsight of 2020. Okay, so you've learned what you really want. You've learned what is important to you. You have the guidance to make sure that you don't crash and burn from 2020, okay? That's what 2020 gave you. And so current energy here is that you are holding on to that, that, which is of value. And what you have found means the most to you. You are keeping it well and protected. You still have that one lit up star. You still have that one wish. But you're being patient. You're no longer like, I need this right now today. Tomorrow is too late, okay? No, you learned. You learned your lesson. You're like, when it comes to me, it comes to me. If it's meant for me, it's meant for me. Future energy here, okay, is clarity. And I don't feel like this is you. It could be you. Sometimes Libra comes out as the king of swords. So take that as how it resonates. But I feel like somebody is realizing here because all of the stars are lit up and the sword is in the upright and they're showing me like a shooting star here, okay? This person is recognizing what they wish for, perhaps where they cut it out of their life, but there's clarity of the structure of the situation. Okay, the overview here is the lovers with the four of wands in reverse. So you are, whoever this person is, you are very tied to them. Okay, this is a divine partnership. And I feel like with the swans that was meant to come in and change both of you, 
to lead your highest life purpose. Okay, there is, <laughs> there's telling me that this um, blue jay up here, okay, I see it as being like a stellar jay because it looks kind of like a stellar jay and we get them in my backyard every summer, which is why it really pisses me off when my husband has murdered my one tree that they love to nest in and they have to nest in another tree completely like he is has no empathic energies <laughs> let's just put it that way all right but you're each on your separate islands here okay but most of the shadows are falling on the divine masculine and there's a little bit of shadow falling on the divine feminine and I feel like it's mostly because it's on the leg, it's mostly fear moving forward. For the divine masculine, the fears are about stability and movement forward. Okay, as well as there's an awakening happening that they're showing me right now. And it's coming from all of these emotions because they're on the water. It's coming from all of these emotions are coming in, coming around the divine masculine's throat chakra. Okay, down the back, all right, and really awakening that. And they're looking right at the Divine Feminine. The Divine Feminine's looking at the bird, the messenger. Where is it leading me? The Divine Masculine can only look at the Divine Feminine, all right? They're learning they have to face their shadows. But until they do, we've got the Four of Wands in reverse. I don't feel like... They have to face their shadows or there's no happiness in this. If there's no happiness in this, you're like, well, it doesn't, it doesn't show up for me. So I would rather not connect with that. That's part of why you're moving forward. Okay. So which one did you want? Okay. You want to go here. All right. So let's clarify here. Okay. I'm telling you, you, you Libras, you're really, really lucky today because spirit is like very active. You're getting like deep, deep information. All right. Okay. Again, 2020, the past here. All right. It was this huge rebirth and it was about releasing a lot of this very very negative energy and attuning you with your higher intuition your higher self you didn't see it though because it had the crossing energy of, of the moon instead you may have just felt horribly underwater depressed anxious like it could have been a very overwhelming year for you, especially for those in deep separation from their person. Okay. I feel like you felt like you were sleepwalking through most of the year because the Empress is Libra. Like you were overwhelmed with everything that was happening around the globe and, um, you know, you really didn't feel like you were getting the illumination that you desired. But I feel like you were. Like you see that growth. Again, you were growing. You were developing those roots. That's foundation. And um, helping to create. I feel like for many of you, you were helping to create this new world. And it looks to me almost like this sort of feathery kind of boa sort of thing that she's got coming out of her back. It's almost like a school of fish. Like you cleared out so much emotionally. I mean, it's like tons, especially like your, your solar plexus clear AF. All right very clear. All right. So current energy here, 
Okay, yeah, you're protecting yourself from, <laughs> they're like the runaway bride. <laughs> okay, you're protecting yourself. That may be the title, the runaway bride. Okay, you're protecting yourself from this player, okay, who doesn't really know what the hell they want. They just have this spark of passion and they have zero clue what it is or what to do with it. Okay. And you're like, I know what it is. I know what to do with it. I'm going to protect it, but I'm moving on because it's not the divine timing right now. Okay. I recognize that it's not the time for this. I recognize that I have grown and you have not. Okay. You see the fear in them. You probably also recognize a little bit of fear left in you, right? Like we saw on the lover's card. The key is still there, okay? The key is still there. When the key gets figured out, the door can be unlocked, right? If it's meant for you, it will come to you. Mm. Oscar's sleeping and he just went, mm. he agrees. Okay. King of Swords, future energy, coming in with a broken heart, but sewing it back up recognizing, okay, how deeply connected they are to you and how much it hurts that they allowed their part, their heart to be pulled apart in so many different ways. Like, I feel like this person has been moving in a million different directions. Okay. We also have the five of wands that came out. This is about this person. Okay. Learning and failing and picking themselves back up again and failing again as they attempt to get, okay, to this fire, against, attempt to get to this, like, it's almost like, you know how when the sun, like when the fog is clearing and the sun kind of looks like it's kind of burning off the fog? That's what they're reaching for. They're reaching for the place where the fog is burned away and they can have that happiness. Okay. But you're just still on your way. Okay. Heart put aside. Not letting you get to my heart. Not until you're going to give it to me. Okay. Not until you're going to give me that heart. I know that sounded really bad when I said not until you're going to give it to me. But I meant the heart. Okay. I know you got a lot of passion, Libra. And that's spirit knows too. All right. So let's look here at the overview energy. Okay. You are still open as it gets for this person. Okay. You recognize that emotionally like solar plexus, sacral root chakra, like, you know, that they are connected there. You may even be feeling movement of their connection to you and their growth happening in those areas if you stop and let yourself be still for a minute. Okay, but you're like, my hands are off of this. Okay, I'm no longer trying to control this or drive this. When you're ready, I will know. Okay. And male or female, it doesn't matter. Okay. Um, just because it's a queen doesn't mean that you are feminine. Okay. <laughs> Spirit saying for someone here watching, you're just a queen. All right. And you're seeking that happiness. Okay. You are happy with yourself. You are like, they're showing me like you're coming into your abundance and it's like this sense of like royalty. Okay. Like, I'm taking back my control. No more. I'm in charge here. It kind of reminds me, they're showing me the other day I was watching rain, which just appeared on my horizon. And I was like, where has this show been on my life? Um, and it was an episode where Queen Mary really puts down her foot about something. Now, it may not go the way that she expects it to go, but it was for all the right reasons. 
And I do sense some of that energy here with you. Okay. Where, you know, you are making your mark. Yep. Growing those roots. Taking that that you are protecting and you're holding on to it and you're just letting it grow. You know that when it gets to the point of being able to be planted, it will be yours. That is some beautiful energy, you are Libra, okay? So let's go ahead and dig a little deeper. I'm using my deck that I call, it's like the dreamscape deck. It gets under the surface. We're using the full moon energy, okay, to go under the surface. See what's going on. All right, so let's look at, okay, they want to look at the rebirth here. Okay, part of this was that you were not loving yourself. You were seeking love through somebody else's eyes. And I feel like the way that this person connected with you and talked with you, you felt that love. And it was like a level up, okay? Like, oh, now I'm gonna take better care of myself. Now I'm going to, you know, I want to look my best for this person. I want to do my best for this person. This person taught you self-love, okay? It also made you address a lot of inner childhood wounds. I feel like in regards to perhaps mother and father, okay? And maybe I feel like, you know, the love that you didn't get perhaps as a child, it may not have been very much because they're really showing me this very tiny river and that um, you kind of had to just be your own hope, be your own guidance here for whoever that resonates with. Okay, so they helped you feel that. And they taught you a lot of magic through this love. Wow, did you see that, that weird ball? <laughs> that was weird. Okay, so um, they taught you a lot of magic through this love. And they taught you, again, to love yourself and to see everything that you could create and provide for yourself. Okay, tell me about Knight of Wands. Do you, if you hear my stomach growling, I don't know what it is. I just ate. Okay. This person could be talking to you now. Okay, because they are still anchored to you, but um, it's kind of like almost like a free floating buoy now. And um, Five of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, so they're trying to open up. Okay, cross by the Two of Cups. Like the emotions are starting to come in. This person is starting to fantasize, okay, about running away from with you, not from you. For some of you, it might be from you. They might be like, oh, it's too overwhelming. Okay, but they're lighting up, they're igniting that crown chakra. Their mask is slowly fading as they transform and realize, okay, the poison that they went through here, it was their own. Okay, the, the clarification here is the page of swords. They're the one by not talking to you that, you know, created all of this. Do you want them all? No. You want this one? Yes. Okay. All right. So they're saying be patient. Okay. You've planted the seeds here. All right. Um, you've ended your deception, you've moved on to your happiness. You're going to have to wait for this to grow, okay, on the five of pentacles here. You're going to have to wait for them to fully come out of it, to find that key. And there, right now, they're in the emotions. Like I said, look at the hanged man, okay? The hanged man up on the clock, on the divine timing, is lit up, okay? 
on the crown lit up. The person's head, however, hanging down here, there's the water, okay? Fully having to look and fixate on their emotions. You want to turn this, like there's this deep desire to turn this, okay? But Spirit is saying, let this person stay in this lone wolf energy under this full moon. Let them watch you swim away, okay? Let them be in the emotions for as long as they need to to get this, all right? Thank you. All right, and then I know it's going to be hard for you to do because you have all these awarenesses about how you feel about this person and that you don't want to leave them and, and what if my leaving them makes them never choose me? They're like, do nothing, okay? This is not your awareness. What you are doing is holding space for this person, okay? When we hold space for someone, we do not do the work that they have to do. Okay, future energy. This person realizes, okay, there's the four of wands in the upright and we've got this one person singularly waiting. They realize that you were coming to offer them everything and that they really fracked it up, okay? Yeah, they realize that they are still tied and bound to you, that um, they don't want you to soar away, away from them. And they see that happening, okay? I feel like we've got here um, Knight of Cups. Like they want to come in and offer you their world, but you can see their world is kind of dark, okay? They haven't really created what they want to create yet, but it's almost like they're in this energy of it doesn't matter. But they have not made a decision here, okay? The emotions are still very overwhelming. Their third eye here, okay, is just coming into being. Um, they're just coming out of this illusion. They're reaching for that sun. They're realizing that you and this person, that you are tied together. And in truth, yes, they have to choose you, but it's almost like they're recognizing that they have no choice. Okay, and so again, I feel like you're in the future energy here. Seven of Swords, like you're kind of in this take no prisoners. All right, in your cycle, you are about a quarter way through your new cycle. And your clarity right now is to block them from the cup because they're not giving you what you need. And that's what you're doing there, okay? Yeah, blocking them from the cup here. Okay, this card has come to signify for me, the Six of Pentacles, it's like the cat and mouse game. Okay, but in the reverse here, okay, you are in that hangman's pose, waiting for illumination, just you and the cat, okay, just hanging out, trying to take over the world, and this mouse, is like, you know, if I go, if I jump, the cat might get me. If I go upwards, I have to get into all of this emotion. All right, so you're just waiting for the illumination. Okay, but stay in the mindset of balance. Stay in your own good mindset, okay? Um, stay in that balance that justice you do not they're like do not entangle you in their shedding of their skin okay because that will ignite a perfect storm instead just keep holding that cup just keep standing in balance work on that fear because there's still a tiny bit of fear here okay attached to that one knee you may be having knee problems Hold on to working through that tiny bit of fear, loving yourself, 
and just keep that cup where you're open to love, but don't let it be fake love, okay? Because they're singing to me now um, that song, that new song by Machine Gun Kelly and Travis Barker. Um, I don't do fake love, but I'll take some from you tonight. You're very passionate. Do not take fake love from this person. Okay, wait for them to honor you and give you the real stuff. Okay, future energy here. Okay, I feel like this is about you taking the time to finish working on yourself. Okay, to, to see your true being, to release the bad body images that you may still have about yourself. And, okay, release these old paradigms of how you felt about yourself and what you thought success in relationship meant. Okay, because success is not the big house if it is filled with nothing. Okay, success is not getting that person if they can't give you love. All right, as you wait for this Ace of Pentacles to grow, you can release that last little bit of stubborn energy within you that you're holding on to with the pain. Figure out how to feel safe to move forward when and if this person comes to you or someone else comes to you. And there we have the Empress again. Okay, and I feel like this one is really important. Okay. Let your inner child out. Okay, let your inner child stay up late. Let your inner child be out of that blockade and into the emotions as deeply as you are. Okay, that is on your side how you grow. And now I've got freaking chills all over. All right, so let's get a few oracle cards here. All right. So Spirit says, keep going about your routine, okay? Don't worry about what this person is doing. They're going about their routine, okay? Most likely, there's not a lot changed with the routines of the day for both of you, okay? But release this feeling that you have to watch, to stalk, to know every move that they're making because it really is time to focus on this happiness that you found. Okay, let them find their own happiness. All right, not your job. They're like, not your monkey, not your circus. Lizard, regeneration. See, that's where you're going through right now. As a survivor, you are unparalleled. No matter what happens, you can adapt. Embrace your transformation. Put on your new cloak. You are a master of regeneration. Okay. Beautiful energy there. Pronghorn action. Now is the time to act. Opportunities are here. Move forward with confidence. Your talents will always help you land in on the pinnacle. Your quick wit and keen senses will lead you to success. See, I feel like you're supposed to be focusing on you right now. I feel like you're supposed to be focusing on perhaps your career that pentacle like the focus is being on that actually is growing everything for you and I love that this is the final card unicorn infinite possibilities you are the sovereign of the seen and unseen worlds the magic of love surrounds you beauty transforms you Listen to the spirit of light. 
abandon the darkness. Go beyond the ordinary and become the legendary. All right, and look at that. The there is, it looks almost like two unicorns merging into one. And we've got the two butterflies flying with them. And there's a third butterfly coming slowly into this. So it'll be interesting to see where your readings go. <laughs> okay, in the future, because as you're leaving this behind, even though this is still transforming, I almost feel like someone new is coming in. Okay, so I'm going to move to your extended. That's available on Patreon or it will be over on Vimeo. Um, on Vimeo, you can do either just the extended or you can do a three day pass where you get access to all of the videos um, from this past Monday going forward um, that are on there. Not that they'll always be there, but just, you know, the ones that are there. Now you get access to all of those. Um, that includes the current energies and the spiritual mastery because I'm going to go look at this person in the extended. What's going on with them? Okay, what are their intentions? What's the possible overview? And then I am going to move into the spiritual mastery to have spirit guide you through your lessons. Like, what are you learning? So I really am going to guide you on how do you release and continue to move forward for your best energy. Okay, for your best um, accomplishments and success. So, and I think it's funny, the bottom of this deck keeps talking to me. All right, it's inner child. And it says, you have blocked your path with your inner child and the unresolved issues. I'm afraid to move forward in allowing past obstacles to keep me in my current state. I feel like that's your spiritual mastery. <laughs> All right, because that inner child, right, wants to move forward. Look, let me out. All right, so... I hope that helps you. I hope this gave you guidance and I hope to see you guys in the extended. I'm going to give you a quick little sneak peek. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye. Okay, Libra. Okay, I was trying to fix my chair. I almost feel like it's like this person is trying to get into their groove. Okay, they are really trying to get into their groove. All right. <laughs> And it's one step at a time as they are waking up, transforming. Okay, they are taking this one step at a time. What's transforming them? The lovers. Okay, this connection is transforming them. Let's see what their lesson is, okay? Okay, hold on. They're like... Do something. Do a little experiment for me. Okay. Clockwork. All right. So what they're learning here is you have an ability to create a new cycle if you are ready to move forward. I know that the cycle will turn no matter what action I take forward or backwards. Okay. They're recognizing that. 